Nike Air Zoom Rival Fly 3. This shoe is for speed run, whether for training or racing, Nike said. It is updated soft foam for cushioning combined with a Zoom A unit for snappy feel in the forefoot during two off. What is this shoe feels like running? and how it is compared with Winflow 8 and Pegasus 37. Let's put the shoe on the run test and find out. Hello, Kapisalang and Tensan. My name is Sam Sanin. Welcome to, and see you again. Thank you for visiting, watching, like, and comment. In this video, I will talk about my review on the Rival Fly 3 running shoe. First of all, the disclaimer that I have to say that I purchased this shoe with my own money during the sale to get a cheaper price. This video is my own content and some of the information may be an approximation only, which is not available anyway. I'm not an expert, but just an ordinary runner. Everything I said in this video is my honest review after using the shoe. So I always use the shoe on many types of runs before I made a review. So this video is not a promotion, but more like a running shoe content sharing. First of all, as usual, let's take a look at my runs using the shoe that make up my review. Although that this is not up to 100 km views, but after using a sofa at 77 km, I can make my recap on my runs and conclusions to the shoe. According to my run, I did actually an easy, easy runs and speed session or interval. So what I can say after using the shoe is this shoe is quite look similar to the Pegasus 37. And we will come back to this later in a minute. And this shoe is my experience promote a four foot strike. So even if I'm doing an easy run, so I ended like um, using my mostly on four foot. So I believe because of the zoom unit, a zoom unit in the forefoot and also because of the low drop and also stack height. And after my runs, I feel some mild sore in uh, both of my calves after my first run. I can really feel that the zoom a unit under my forefoot and the feel is almost like uh, similar to the, the uh, Pegasus 37. And then next, the right feel is towards firm in every stride, but somehow I can feel the bounce and energy return coming from the a zoom unit. So I think that's why this shoe promotes forefoot strike, in my opinion. As this shoe promotes foot strike, 
This shoe is suitable for speed workout or racing up to three to five kilometer and maybe up to 10 kilometer rather than for easy runs, recovery or long run. So this is, um, um, this shoe is considered as uh, only for speed runs and e not for easy runs. Then for the cushioning, although that uh, I think that the shoe has a lower stack height and it is firm underfoot feeling but uh, somehow it still provides some small and acceptable cushioning especially in the in the heel and also and some of the in, in the forefoot now we look at the basic specs the price of this is 369 ringgit or 88 us dollar however i got this shoe for uh, from for the discount and uh, so that is a cheaper price the drop is approximately 5 mil Okay, with 22 millimeter in the heel and 17 millimeter in the forefoot. So the weight of this is about 239 for the US 9. So it's quite lightweight. Okay, and then, um, but probably it is uh, increased, the, the, the weight is increased for previous version. But again, 239 is way lighter than Pegasus 37 and also uh, Windflow 8. So that's why this shoe is probably more suitable for speed run and then in the upper it is a mesh upper almost similar like the Pegasus 37 okay and then uh, it has the wide toe box it's more room in the in the forefoot okay compared to Pegasus 37 and Windflow 8 so if we compare this two shoe okay right so this is the shoe okay for the Pegasus 37, we can see that it is somehow it's like a pointed at the end of the forefoot. Okay, while this uh, Rival Fly 3 is a little bit wider at the toe box. And then if we compare the upper, okay, the pointed, okay, the upper from the uh, Windflow 8 and also this uh, Rival Fly 3, we can see that this Windflow 8 is it's a very narrow toe box compared to this Rival Fly 3. For the size, I think it is true to size because uh, compared to the Pegasus 37, although that it is, has the same size with this Pegasus 37, but this Pegasus 37 in sole is 275 millimeter, but in the Rival Fly in sole is exactly 270 millimeter for the US 9, and it is it fits just nice. So if you look at the uh, the length of the insole, okay, so this is the insole. Okay, so this is roughly approximate and it is exactly 27. Okay, so this is 27. Okay, let's start with the upper. The upper is an uh, engineered mesh with pretty good breathability. I like it and so because it's quite breathable. Um, thing is it's more breathable than this Pegasus 37 and also with the Swing Flow 8. Okay. And I, like I said before, the upper almost similar design with the Pegasus 37, the webbing, okay, for example, this webbing inlet, okay, all the same with this uh, Pegasus 37. They almost have the same uh, webbing inlet for the lacing. And then uh, quite similar tongue design with the Pegasus 37. And also in the heel collar, okay, if you look at this heel collar between this uh, Rival Fly 3 and this uh, Pegasus 37, they almost have the same design. So this is the Rival Fly 3 and this is Pegasus 37. Then um, I think the feel is just similar with the Pegasus 37, but of course the Pegasus 37 are a little bit thicker and however the uh, Rival Fly has a little bit more padding in the heel collar okay, compared to the Pegasus 37. Okay, it's a little bit um, thin okay, while in this uh, Rubble Fly 3, it has a little bit more padding compared to this Pegasus 37. Next, the heel counter is also both, both of this uh, shoe has a quite similar characteristic of the heel counter. Okay, both is quite um, hard to press forward. Uh, there is a rubber overlays at the at this black color. Okay, so this one, so this is the colorway blue colorway with the black um, overlay, the, this um, rubber overlay. So this is for the durability and I personally like this actually. 
The tongue is semi-gusseted. If you look at this, this, so this is the uh, tongue, okay? meaning that this tongue is uh, connected with the upper lining, the, so the lining of the inside lining of the shoe, okay? compared to this um, Pegasus 37. Okay? It's, it is the same, almost the same design, okay? but then the, this is a little bit short, uh, shorter than this Pegasus 37 for the tongue. So actually, I hope that uh, it is a little bit long. So otherwise, the less will get into my ankle uh, because um, somehow the tongue will go down a little bit. And then the padding in the heel collar okay, is good with a low boot and hard heel counter or heel for, the, for this um, heel stability. Next, for the feet. I found that the heel lockdown is better than the Pegasus 37 or the Winflow 8 so because um, I can feel the heel slip in the Pegasus 37 but not in this rival. The Pegasus 37, okay, this Pegasus 37 is, uh, feels bulky at the top of my foot okay, but uh, this one is just enough. Next up is the midsole and cushioning. The form could be from Kushlon, similar to the so Windflow, uh, probably like in Windflow uh, 5, okay, 7 and 8. Okay, and it feels like the Windflow 8 Kushlon form. And in the midsole, okay, in the forefoot, there is a zoom unit. Okay, in here, there is a zoom unit. And the shoe can be twisted. Okay, if you look at this, can, this shoe is, can be twisted but not quite easily and the shoe is more like a neutral shoe. So about the cushioning, it feels like a little bit of uh, firm because it has um, the Zoom A unit. It feels like a stepping in a very thin compressed air balloon. So that is a feel. So because I can really feel the this, the, the A Zoom unit in the, in the forefoot. Okay? The same thing with the Pegasus 37, I actually feel the A zoom unit in the forefoot. Right, we go to the outsole and tractions. There is a large coverage of the rubber. Okay, here you can look at this, the black rubber, uh, mostly in the forefoot. Okay, and uh, almost like a uh, modified waffle pattern from Windflow 8 and exposed form. There's an exposed form with a groove, okay, from the heel to this um, end of this shoe. And in heel, we have the V-shaped rubber with the uh, decoupled group in the middle. So this design is very much different than the previous version of the shoe. So about the tractions, I think uh, it is grippy and I don't have much problem to it. So thumbs up to this pattern. And for the durability, I would say that it's very durable. So because um, you can see that there is not much um, wear in this um, pattern up to 77 km except for this uh, because um, I use this shoe mainly for the speed uh, speed run okay uh, the interval so I can see that um, the way for especially for the small groove lines at the uh, forefoot is begin to wear okay so I think um, I would say that it it's, uh, can easily reach up to 600 or more than 700 kilometer for this shoe Finally, what is my conclusion about the shoe and this shoe is for who? So this shoe can look cool, fast, however this shoe may not have for everyone. Okay, so because it's not for easy, not for recovery day and not for long run. I have used this up to 12 kilometer. I, I get a soreness in, in, the car, in my calf after running that uh, 12 kilometer. So I can say that this uh, shoe is probably for specific use only and this shoe is for speed training or racing over distance about um, 3 to 5 km for the speed race or up to 10 km. So this shoe is not really for the types, uh, for many types, for all types of run because it has low drop, a very low drop. Um, I can say that in probably like um, 4 to 5 mil. And the stack height is very, uh, again, is very low. And so unless you are buying the shoe for your, your shoe rotations over the Pegasus or the Windflow and for the speed workout, then I think you may better get the other shoes. But if you like a shoe that is uh, very low stack height, 
okay, an uh, almost ground feel, and this shoe could be one of your shoe rotation. So I think that's all for my um, simple review about the shoe. I like this shoe, but then uh, because of the uh, stack height and also a little bit firm, but this is could be good for the for the for the racing up to three to five kilometer. So yeah. I will in in future I think I will use this uh, shoe for uh, more on my interval and speed sessions up to five kilometer or below ten kilometer. Right, uh, I think that's all for my simple review. With that, until we meet again in another video. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye bye.